Okay, so I'm going to have a go at max non-overlapping segments, which is the first exercise in lesson 16, greedy algorithms of codility. So let's get straight into this. Okay, located on a line are n segments numbered from 0 to n minus 1, whose positions are given in arrays a and b for each zero is less than or equal to i is less than n the position of segment i is from ai to bi inclusive the segments are sorted by their ends which means that bk is less than or equal to bk plus one for k such that zero is less than or equal to k is less than n minus one two segments i and j are i and j such that i is not equal to j are overlapping if they share at least one common point in other words i a i is less than or equal to a j is less than or equal to b i or a j is less than or equal to a i is less than or equal to b j okay i think that's going to make more sense when we look at the example but we say that the set of segments is non-overlapping if it contains no two overlapping segments. The goal is to find the size of a non-overlapping set containing the maximum number of segments. For example, consider arrays A and B like this. The segments are shown in the figure below. Okay, so the first segment goes from position 1 to 5. The second segment, segment index 1, goes from 3 to 6. 2 goes from 7 to 8. 3 goes from 9 to 9, so it's just a point. And 4 goes from 9 to 10. The size of a non-overlapping set containing the maximum number of segments is 3. For example, the possible sets are 0, 2, 3, 0, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 4. So 0, 2, 3, 0, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 4. So this, these are three segments that don't overlap. There is no non-overlapping set with four segments. Uh, that seems to be right. 0 overlaps with 1, 3 overlaps with 4. Okay, write a function that given two arrays a and b consisting of n integers returns the size of a non-overlapping set containing a maximum number of segments. For example, in this example the function should return 3. Write an efficient algorithm for the following assumptions n which is the number of segments is an integer within the range of 0 to 30,000. Each element of arrays A and B is an integer from 0 to a billion. AI is less than BI for each I. 0 is less than or equal to I is less than N. Okay, so what's that saying is that the A always marks the start and the B always marks the end. <clears throat> and I is always less than N and greater than or equal to zero. BK is less than or equal to BK plus one for each. So that's saying that they, they're ordered by their end position so that's probably going to help um, because we're not going to have to sort them they're already so sorted by their end position okay so what i think i'm going to do because they're already already sorted by their end position we can start off with just the first segment we see, segment zero, and we'll record or we'll keep a track of its end position. And then we'll find the next segment that starts after this end position. 
So in this case, it will be this one and we'll find segment two. So we'll start with segment zero, find its end position and then go to segment two. Now it doesn't matter that we could go zero to two or one to two because the result is the same really. And because they're sorted by their end position, we know that the first one that we've looked at is going to end before any subsequent segments. So we'll find the first segment, the end position, and then we'll find the next segment that starts after that. And then we'll repeat. So that ends there. The next segment that starts after that is going to be segment three. Its end position is the same as its start position, but that doesn't matter. In fact, I don't think we're going to even think about start position. Oh no, think about start positions to find one that starts after the end. But we've gone zero, two, three. Then we try and find one that starts after the end position of three. We can't find one, and therefore we've counted three. Okay, so I'm going to prepare the class and have a go at doing that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with current position. I'm going to start that off at minus one because I'm going to look at segments and say that if they start after the current position then I want to count them as the next segment and then I'm going to have a segment count and I'll start that off at zero and then I'm just going to loop through the segments um, I think that A and B are definitely the same length but I'll check that before I submit I'm going to say if a at i is greater than current position so the a array is defining the start of the segments so if uh, this the segment we're looking at starts after current position and because we started at minus one the first one definitely will because they uh, zero is the minimum value then we want the current position to equal b at i so we move the current position along to the end of the current segment and you know it's really crucial that these are ordered by the end position and we count the segment and at the end we return segment count So I'll just test that. The answer is three. Uh, so let's just go through that in debug and explain it one more time. Okay, so we start off with current position minus one and segment count zero. The first one starts after the current position at one. Therefore, we set the current position to be the end at five. And we count our first segment. Then the next one starts at three. We don't want to count it. The next one starts at seven. So we move our current position to the end of that segment, which is eight. And we count this segment. The next one starts at nine. So we set our current position to its end, which is nine. And we count that segment. The next one starts at nine, which is not greater than our current position of nine. So we don't count that. And we've counted three segments. So I think that's it. I'm just gonna check. Um, a and B are definitely the same length. Um, 
I think A and B are definitely the same length. It says that A and B are defining the start and the ends of positions for N segments. So um, the minimum value, we could have zero. What happens if we have zero? I think I just need to deal with the corner case of what if we give it zero and what if we give it one um, so what if we give it no values at all we want our overlapping segments to be zero presumably and if we give it one Our max overlapping segments will be one. So I want to see three zero one here. Yeah, that's working. So I think I'm going to submit that and see how it does. There's nothing to import. So run the tests and submit it. And 100 percent so not too difficult there um i think the thing to realize is that it helps a lot that they're sorted by their end position so that's my solution to max non over max non overlapping segments in codility thanks for watching